What's up, Prim fam? I know what you're thinking. Oh my gosh, there was no intro, there's no music, it's just Cam talking. Fun fact, actually, my name's Cameron. I have never, ever in my whole life told anyone to call me Cam. They all just do it. Anytime I start a new job, they eventually call me Cam. I don't know what happens, but they all just call me Cam eventually. Um, so, anyway, I wanted to do something before I culture shock you. I'm actually going to put in a different song right at the beginning. I just want you guys to listen to it. Um, I'll text it to Darren so we can put the link in the description. It's just a song that I like a lot. I've been listening to it a lot recently. If this gets copyright extract, I'm so sorry, Darren. Um, but you got to listen to the song. It's a good song. So I didn't want to culture shock you with like, you know, it's going to be a different song right at the beginning. It's not going to be the normal like, do, 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 do. It's going to be different. And I didn't want to shock you. So I had to give you a warning. All right, let's get into the video. Happy Thursday, print fam. I've been out in the office for a few hours just working on some artwork. So far, I've put together two business card orders, and now I am working on some shirts. Um, this is like the third or fourth revision of the shirt, so hopefully they will finally just approve it because I'm tired of working on artwork. Um, I've got some aprons that I've got to get done today with the white toner printer. Um, I only have to get six of them done. The, in total, I've got another set. So I've got six that are one design and 20 that are a different design. So only the six are due today, so that's probably all I'm going to do, even though I told them I was going to try to get them all done. Um, so I've got the six to do today um, for the white toner printer, and then a few miscellaneous jobs that I just need to finish up. I've got a wall decal that I need to put the transfer tape onto, need to drive that over to their shop and install it along with a few other just miscellaneous projects so um, thought I'd give you an update since I've just been sitting here the whole time but let's get some let's get some more work done Alright, so I'm working on these transfers. Sometimes I wet my plants. Um, like I said, I'm still having trouble with the white toner if it's a white color, but where these are in different colors other than white, the white toner is working great. So, still not sure what's going on. For those of you that. Um, this is a different topic. For those that aren't familiar with white toner, um, you have basically part A, which is just a printed transfer, and then you have part B, which is the adhesive, and right now we're going to marry them. So the heat press is set to 310 degrees, and I just heated up the bottom so it's really hot, and now I am going to lay the A down facing up, so the printed side is up. I'm going to take the B. The B has an orange, or not orange, yellow grid on the back. And so I'm going to line this up. I'm going to fold the corner just so it's easier for me to grab. And then I always make sure that there's no bubbles. So I run my hand across to make sure that it's nice and flat. And then I put a piece of craft paper on the top of it. Um, I have heard and Uninet's instructions say that if you run it through a laminator, that helps. I don't have one. I don't really want to get one. I don't really have room. If I were to buy a laminator, I would be buying like a cold and a hot roll, probably just a cold roll. And I'd buy a 54 inch wide one so that I could laminate um, like car decals and stickers and things so definitely wouldn't want to just get like an 11 by 17 which is what these would need so again 310 degrees medium to high pressure for 120 seconds and as soon as this is done we are going to peel the sheet off and you wipe it down for about five seconds which is textile this is just an extra shirt i don't know if you guys can see it in the camera but 
I just have a pile of shirts that I've misordered or people canceled or what have you that I have been laying around. So this is my unofficial official textile wiping shirt for my transfer. So got about 60 seconds left and then we will press or peel it. Um, while I'm doing that, I did have, well, I'll save that for later. Um, I had some additional questions about this table and holy cow, I love having this thing. It has made such a huge difference in being able to just work. Um, and we'll go over the, just the dimensions real quick. It's 108. Um, it's nine feet, I think, or slightly larger than nine feet long. And it's four feet wide with a leaf up. The leaf is on a hinge, it's called a piano hinge, so that I can drop it down to give more workspace in the shop. Um, and that's supported on the edges with two, um, two by fours on the slides, and then a leg here in the middle. It's time to peel this though, so. Letting it beep and go a little bit longer is not the end of the world. Sometimes I'll go in the office and then it's like, oh, I hear it beeping and I'll run in here. So as you can tell, I'm not worried. So lift it up, pull it out, move the craft paper. And like I said, five seconds or roughly five seconds. And then I use the same sheets to hold the edge down and then I just start to peel. And you go slow-ish but you do want to just make sure that you're being smooth. If you start to go too fast, then you can rip up um, some of the transfer that's on the transparency. So this one was a perfect peel, other than right here in the corner, you can see that I went too fast, but I added this border because I was afraid when peeling that it would try to self-release because there's no more text to get to, that I added this border to give me more toner to adhere the B to. So this isn't really important and I'm just gonna be cutting it off anyway. So this is perfect. And now we got two more, and then we'll put them on the aprons. All right, so got all the transfers made. I pre-pressed the shirt. I also turned the temperature of the heat press down. So now we're at 285, still medium pressure, but now we're at 30 seconds this time. So again, I pre-pressed it. And don't forget your sheet. Good. So again, 285 Fahrenheit. I don't know what that is in Celsius. Can if you feel up to it, you can put it on the screen. It's up to you. Um, 30 seconds, medium pressure. Um, well, medium to high. I, t I tend to lean more on the side of high just because I find that works better. Once this is done, we'll take it off and we want it to cool as long as possible. The instructions say five minutes. And you can do it as quick as like one minute if you use your hand to get it cooled down really quick. But for me, I found the longer you let it cool, the more successful you are with the transfer. So again, you just want to make sure that you leave it flat. You don't want to bend it. And again, this is why I love that I have this table. It is plenty of workspace. Up right now, it's for the gym. So, put that there, grab a new one, again, put it on the heat press, and then what you want to do is pre press it. So, right now, there's a line here at the top, 
and we do not want that. So we'll just throw it in the heat press real quick. I'm not even going to put pressure on it. I'm just going to basically have the platen drop on the garment. Just a few seconds. Boom. It's still there, so let's go ahead and put some pressure on it because pressure makes things better. So that's now gone. Grab a transfer. I did two fingers from the top and then two fingers from each side. That looks good. Make sure it's flat. Throw the transfer sheet on. And again, 30 seconds. So just repeat this process six times. Once you do that, you peel the old ones off and then repress them. So I'll show you that when they're ready. All right, so I've been in the office for about 10, 15 minutes and these have been sitting here the whole time. So now is the perfect time to peel them. And I, I like to start by just getting the first corner and then I use my hand to just roll it. And I just like to keep that nice smooth edge and keep it rolling the whole time. So that comes off nice and clean. So let me see if I can get another angle for you. So again, I peel up the corner so that we've got this nice rolled edge. And I just keep that the whole time. Make sense? Hope it does. Oh yeah, so it makes sense, but why do that instead of just peel it? You're not going to get an answer to this episode, but this is a legitimate question I have, Darren. So, now that it's peeled, you repress it to solidify it into the garment. Again, same temperature as before, 285, 30 seconds with either Teflon or craft paper, and you're good to go. Alright, print fam, back from my errands. Um, got another order while I was gone, which is nice. Um, and today has been a freaking awesome day as far as receiving payments. I haven't invoiced very much today. I think I've only invoiced like $100 and they already paid that. Um, so yeah, according to my report, I've invoiced nothing because this only shows open invoices. Um, but as far as money brought in today, we have brought in almost $6,000, most of that being Bob's jobs. Um, so let's see here. Bob's brought in 4300 and I brought in $1,300. Um, so super crushing it today as far as bringing money in, which is super nice because we've been outputting a ton of money and it's nice to get a little bit in to start paying some of those things off. Um, I do use my credit card to float everything 30 days, so that's nice. Um, it can get you in trouble, but luckily for me, it hasn't done that. Um, but yeah, we still have a good amount of receivables. We've got about $22,000 worth of receivables. Um, so we are... We're doing really good right now. Bob just landed a new client that's a climbing gym that we're doing about a $9,000 order with. And part of that money that came in today was they were paying half of it up front. Um, so we'll start the order and then uh, we'll 
get the rest of the payment once we deliver. So doing super well. I'm super happy. Like I'm feeling relieved today by being able to bring in a bunch of cash. And unfortunately, none of it is actually going to make it to me. <laughs> but business-wise, it makes me happy. Someday, I'll actually make a decent living. Someday. But building a business is what it takes. And really, I've only been full-time about two months. So uh, being able to focus has been super helpful. And I'm super glad for that. Um, so got a few more things that I want to get done today. Just check over Monday.com and try to finish up. I've got some vinyl that's actually behind you guys. Vinyl? Vinyl, what are you doing back here? Go to Darren's house. Silly vinyl. It's always over here. But I need to get the transfer tape on so I can hopefully go install that later this week. Um, but yeah, things are, things are going really well. And I'll also get some paper and we'll do a detailed kind of sketch of the table that I built. I dropped my pen. Okay, we'll check back in a bit. So, as you can see, I'm a fabulous artist, but this is a side profile of the table. And so basically, the table just has four legs that are made out of two by fours. And then we've got a quarter inch melamine top right here. And this is a quarter inch melamine leaf and it's on a piano hinge. So what that allows it to do is the two pieces can then be put side by side with the hinge here at the bottom and there's really no gap. So it goes from being a two foot table with a two foot leaf to a four foot table, which makes it really nice. I guess that's one taken out too four foot and then what we did on the sides and I didn't do this his guys actually came up with it was there's another two by four right here that's on drawer slides which makes it so they come out to support the table and that way I only have to have a single leg so if you're looking at it with like this is leg number one leg number two and say we have the top flipped up then the 2x4 there's slides here the 2x4s out here to support it on both ends and then there's just a single leg in the middle and that leg basically if you were to just look at the leg it's got a hinge right here so that that way it can be folded up when the leaf is down so Hope that makes sense. I really like the table. Um, he charged me $400 to build it with material and delivery, which I feel is fair. You could probably build it yourself for way cheaper, uh, but I am not very handy. So, yeah, there's the table. So I'm doing some more white toner. The is I forgot about an order. So it's late. It was due today and I forgot. So I just finished it and I'll deliver it tomorrow. Luckily, or I guess unluckily, they're also ordering a rush job. So I've got to do that either tonight or first thing tomorrow and get that delivered at the same time. We'll see what they say, but for now I'm going to call it a night. I already told you I did not meet my goal today, but thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. If you haven't already, I'd love to see you subscribe and follow along with the journey. Thank you, Cam, for editing the videos. As a reminder, any links that you use down in the description are affiliate links or they are to one of my stores where you can buy stuff from me. Any purchase made this month will be donated to CAM. So all the money made this month is going to CAM. So stickers, business cards, Amazon affiliate, etc. All that down in the description. But as always, thank you for just being here. Thanks for following along, Print Fam, and we'll see you next time. Shh.